Good morning, everyone. My name is Olivia. I'm a senior in Columbia College studying history and public health, originally from Princeton, New Jersey. And today I'll be walking you through my day. It's a little bit of a busy one, and so I'll be going to um, class. I'll be going to do some homework. I have breakfast plans, lunch. I'm actually giving a tour because I'm a tour guide here on campus. I also have a couple other meetings, and so it'll be a little bit busy, but I'm really excited for you get to for you to see what a day in the life of a Columbia student is all about. Right now I'm standing on the Law Bridge, which is right by my residence hall. I really love the Law Bridge because you can see, hypothetically, 30 blocks north and 30, 30 blocks south and 30 blocks north. I don't know if it's true because I've never counted, um, but I really love standing on the Law Bridge because it's really nice um, in the mornings to be able to see um, and like look out over the city. Um, it's right by my residence hall. I live directly um, to my side, um, and so it's super nice to be able to see um, into the city on a beautiful day. Okay, now heading to breakfast. Good morning, here I am in Ferris Booth Commons where I'm getting breakfast before I start my day. I always come and get an omelette in the mornings, it's my favorite thing to do, and my friends will come and meet me before um, going to class, and so it's just a very big tradition that we've had um, for the past four years. Um, I would say that the omelettes are definitely one of my favorite things to get at Ferris Booth Commons, but I also, during the day, not for breakfast, I really love their dessert case. Um, because they have a lot of different options in the dining hall, um, but in Ferris Booth Commons, they also have this big case full of dessert, and so there are different cakes and pies and cookies and things, and so Ferris Booth Commons is definitely one of my favorite places. Eating lunch at my favorite dining hall. Me and Olivia met in class together last semester, and then we just ran into each other again today. That's the best thing about Columbia, is that you're always running into people in random places, and so it really does build in the community the right to campus itself. Welcome, Welcome to, to Columbia. Columbia! Right now, I'm with my friend Kate in Eurus. Eurus is one of our 19 libraries here, and I really love it because it has some group collaborative spaces where I can work together with my friends and be in a study room together, and so right now I'm with Kate. I'm currently studying for my U.S. Constitutional History class. And I'm working on my senior thesis. Now I'm heading to class. I have Fundamentals of Global Health right now. And in this class, we learn about a lot of different topics and have guest lectures from the Mailman School of Public Health, which is a graduate school here at Columbia. And so in this class, I'm reading a lot of journal articles for homework. I read various um, documents from the World Health Organization and other global health types of organizations. And so it's a really great opportunity to be exposed to lectures from a variety of different disciplines in public health and learn from um, the world-renowned professors at the graduate school, as well as connect with other undergraduates since this is an undergraduate class. And so I've really enjoyed it and I'm excited to go today. The first question I'm going to answer is how accessible are Columbia professors? The answers vary. The, my first year I took class in literature, humanities, and I went to office hours very frequently with my professor and I built a really strong relationship with her to where now she's one of my closest mentors to this day and I would say that's very true of all professors. They're really excited to get to know their students and have students come to office hours because all professors are required to have office hours so you're not just going um, to the TA's office hours, you can also go and build relationships with your professors and they are really excited to get to know you as a student, see what you're interested in, and then also help you in whatever you are um, looking for help with. Whatever you want advice in, you can definitely go to office hours for. Personally, I love the surrounding community of Columbia. 
living in Morningside Heights, which is this neighborhood of New York City, has just been so much fun because it feels a lot like your traditional college town to where like I can go down to the heart of New York during the day and then I can come back to Morningside Heights and it really does feel like your traditional college town. I really love going to places like the Hungarian pastry shop because I can't go in there without running into somebody that I know and so it really does build in the small town like community feel right to Morningside Heights and it really does give you what we like to say the best of both worlds because it does feel very much like a community right here in Morningside Heights. Also, just walking around campus and walking around like these neighboring blocks, it's a lot of Columbia-owned buildings, and so a lot of your peers are living in these buildings also. Professors will live here, and so it does feel very much like a community. As long as you stay organized, I definitely think that two areas of study is very much doable. I've been studying two things since I began at Columbia, but what I am studying right now doesn't at all resemble what I started with. I began as a political science and theater double major. I switched five times before landing on history and public health, but by staying organized, it really did allow me to study two things and do the core curriculum and still be on track to graduate in eight semesters. And really it was through the core curriculum that I found what I was most interested in because with the small classes, you really do get to know your professors and they get to know you. And so I had a lot of conversations with them about what I was interested in. And it was actually one of my professors who recommended history to me and it has just been the perfect path for me. My favorite elective was the history of the American musical that I took in my sophomore year because we read a lot of really pivotal musicals and got to listen to the scores and then have a lot of discussions about them in class. And it was especially interesting because we actually went to see a Broadway show and then write an essay analyzing what was going on in the show in terms of the score, the book, the acting. And so it was just such a fun class as somebody who loves theater. That was definitely a highlight of my curriculum. In terms of work-life balance, it's definitely about prioritization. I think I developed a lot of these skills in my first year by finding the classes that were really interesting to me, as well as the student organizations and extracurriculars that I really wanted to be a part of. But then just by finding the things that really mattered to me and being able to balance my time, that really has allowed me to have the work-life balance that I really want. And so I'm able to take advantage of a lot of the opportunities that are available in the city and in the university itself, because there are a lot of them um, but then also the classes themselves really do matter to me and so I definitely balance my time accordingly. When I was looking at colleges being in a city wasn't the first thing that like I knew I had to do. Columbia just fit my personality and interest the best because of the core curriculum and the focus on theater and so it all just came together and so that's why I ultimately chose Columbia and so moving to New York I was a little bit nervous because I was from a relatively small town outside of Princeton, New Jersey and so moving to the city was definitely an adjustment but I would say that I found that it's just been such a core part of my college experience and now living here I couldn't imagine myself anywhere else. I love being in the city, being able to take advantage of theater, but then also having a campus to return to has just been so much fun because I really do get that balance of like the really big city but then having more like a college town um, has just been really fun. For me, what really allowed me to get integrated into New York and the campus community was finding people that I really blended with that were really close friends of mine because that allowed me to feel like I had a place both at Columbia and then also made me feel more comfortable within the city. And I would say throughout my time here in the past four years, I've grown a lot more comfortable with the subways, with finding places that I want to go, also with navigating Google Maps and like finding different bakeries. And so now like walking around the city and trying out different bakeries, going to some of the new restaurants um, is definitely one of my favorite things to do. But I think it's definitely um, a learning process to find the balance that really works for you. I think that's been a theme across a lot of my reels is just the balance of what you like to do. Um, but I promise like also, like you really learn how to use the city um, to how you like um, to do it best. Hi, 
Okay, I'm about to sign off for the day, but I really wanted to show just one of my favorite traditions on campus is tree lighting, which occurs every week in the first week of December when all the acapella groups will perform on campus. They give out hot cocoa, they give out free merch, and then all the lights will turn on. There's a big countdown. And then what I really love about it is that the lights will turn on every single night through the beginning of March. And so even now, when it's coming into the beginning of February, the lights are still on, which really does make it nice to walk across campus when it's dark outside um, and at the end of the day and so I just wanted to show how pretty campus is at night and even like when it's snowing or something it's really just beautiful um, to walk across campus and see the lights.